Hello, English-speaking world, all the German learners, I greet you. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the demonstrative determiners. They are called Demonstrativartikel in German. It's basically an article referring to something that you point to or otherwise show someone. The best example for this in English is this and that. In German, the definite article der, die, das, den, etc. can change its meaning from the to that if you emphasize it. For example, öffne die Tür. Open the door. If you point to the door to show which one you mean, then you would say öffne die Tür. Open that door. In most cases, this or that is the emphasized direct article in German. Here are some more examples. Der Mann ist der Hausmeister. That man is the janitor. Ich habe mir das Buch hier gekauft. I've bought this book here. Dem Typ glaube ich kein Wort. I don't believe a word that guy is saying. Now, if you want to explicitly say this, you can use the article diese. It has the same declination as the definite article. Just put the last letter of the definite article at the end of diese. So the declination table looks like this. Dieser, dieses, diese, diesen. Diesen. Let's look at some examples. Ich mag dieses Buch. I like this book. Ich suche diese Kappe. I'm looking for this cap. Ich habe diesen Wagen gesehen. I've seen this car. There are some more Demonstrativartikel. A rarely used one is called jene. This article refers to something distant, like that over there. I personally never use it, and I think it's obsolete. But you might see it in some old texts or even in a German exam. For example, jenes ferne Land, that far away land. Erinnerungen an jene schlimme Zeit. Memories of that old terrible time. Hinter jenen Bergen. Behind those mountains. The declination is the same as with diese. Here are all the cases. Jena, jenes, jene, jenen, jenen. The next one is more frequently used. Solche means such. So it means one like the one I'm showing right now. For example, Solche Autos gibt es in Deutschland nicht. Such cars don't exist in Germany. Warum trägst du solche schrecklichen Schuhe? Why are you wearing such terrible shoes? Mit solchen Leuten rede ich nicht. I don't talk to such people. The declination works the same as with diese and jene. Here's the declination table. Solcher. Solches. Solche. Solchen. Solchen. Then there are two more articles that are a bit different in concept. Derjenige, which means the one or that one, and derselbe, which means the same. You see, they look like an article combined with an adjective. And that is exactly how you use them. But you write and speak them as one. Derjenige. Derselbe. To compare it, here's an adjective. Der Grüne. The Green. 
So just write the normal article and picture jenig and selb as adjectives. For example, groß, die große Frau, jenig, diejenige Frau, selb, dieselbe Frau. Derjenige is a super emphasized version of der usually followed by a relative clause. It is rarely used. For example, Der Spieler, der die meisten Punkte hat, gewinnt. Derjenige Spieler, der die meisten Punkte hat, gewinnt. Both of these sentences mean the player who has the most points wins. Then there is derselbe which means the same. For example, Derselbe Mann hat zwei Autos gekauft. The same man bought two cars. War es dieselbe Katze? Was it the same cat? If you are not sure about the declination of Derjenige and Derselbe, please watch my tutorial on adjective declination. Let me add this helpful tip. Derselbe and dergleiche can be confused sometimes. Derselbe means the very same, so exactly the same thing or individual. Dergleiche means a similar thing or look, so the same type of something. Take a look at these pictures. In English, they are described by the same sentence. They are eating the same salad. In German, however, the first one would be Sie essen denselben Salat. So it's one and they're both eating it. And the second would be Sie essen den gleichen Salat. So the type of salad is the same. All right, let's repeat what we've learned. Demonstrativartikel is an article that refers to something pointed to. The basic one is the emphasized definite article. Der, die, das, den and so on. Diese, jene and solche, which mean this, that and such, are declined by adding the last letter of the definite article at the end. Derjenige and derselbe, the one and the same, work like a combination of an article and an adjective. Derselbe means the very same. Dergleiche, however, means the similar same. All right, that's it for today. I recommend practicing these articles a lot to get familiar with the declination. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Please like and share this video with your classmates. Und vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.